Hello, I know it's been a while since I've done a tour or even been on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you a look around my garden. This is October the 1st, 2024, and everything is looking pretty good. So I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll show you what we got. First of all, we'll start with the new arbor that I built and the raised beds. They're looking pretty good. This is the front flower bed. My elephant ears are doing excellent. Excellent. Hibiscus, miniature roses, ferns. Need to clean that pot up right there. This is down my sidewalk. I got caladiums, mums. This is my little tree around my oxalis that I have growing around the tree. Got a little bicycle. I need to get those pots planted up and my Texas stepping stone. Swing is out here for me to enjoy a cup of coffee in the morning. The caladiums are looking good. My pots are looking good. Trees are starting to turn for the fall. The maidenhair fern is just outstanding this year. It is so full and I cut it back like a fourth of that size last year. Caladiums, lamb's ear. This is a volunteer tree. Got a new corkscrew willow. I wanted that for the branches. This is the oxalis around this tree looking pretty good. I gave away a flat of caladiums I had sitting there yesterday. So we got a pretty good hole in it. This is another bicycle. Grass is filling in really nice and fluffy. This is one Super Tunia Vista bubble gum. This is an excellent plant. I love it. I love the way it's all filled in. My Japanese maples are just starting to turn a little bit. This is my smoke bush. My hydrangeas, they come and go. I'm not giving up on them. They keep losing all their leaves and then they come back. This is my pomegranate tree. Didn't get any pomegranates this year. Salvia, some echinacea. I just replanted this side above the sidewalk and I put some grasses and some daylilies over here till I decide what I'm going to do with them. Here I have six Atlas roses, snapdragons, stalk, kale. All different colors pansies I can't wait till this all fills in it's going to look very nice and then over here on the corner I have cosmos salvia I'm not sure how the Sun is gonna do over here got lots of salvia I planted my vitex there Got, so you can see in that area a little bit better. The cosmos is looking really good. It was really nice over here on the side, but it was, I wanted to change it out and put some pansies in so I could have some color this fall. This is a bunch of day lilies and irises, milkweed. Calendula, verbena, zinnia. This red zinnia has really done an excellent job right there. This is on the side of my greenhouse, on the alley side, what I call the alley side. 
This is where I grow lots of things for seeds or cuttings to share with everybody. My window boxes are... Uh, they need to be changed out. Some of them do. The moss rose is... It's time to replace it. But the pentas and the... This is jazzberry petunia. It's really doing good. This is a hanging basket I've had since... March. Really looking good. Inside the greenhouse, I have lots of plants that need a home. Got my grow lights, my heat mats hooked up to a timer, so I'm ready to start growing some seeds. Over here on this side of the greenhouse, this is my holding area for everybody to pick up their stuff from the garden club. Let's see if I can't block the sun. We got peach trees from Keep Mesquite Beautiful. Uh, boxes are doing good over here. This is a pot that I put in the ground and this is my, oh, I can't turn my camera that way, sorry. My jazzberry. And this is down the side. I'm working on the stepping stone, so I've still got a little bit of a mess over here, but I'm getting close, getting it all cleaned up. Got rid of all the wood. Got my boxes built. about ready to change them out. Got some zinnias. That's my peach tree. This is where I'm going to espalier my peach trees and apple tree. Got some little tomatoes, peppers. I think I saw some peppers on this. Yeah, there's some peppers right there. And there's my okra starting to put out some okra back there. I don't know if you can see the little baby okra coming along. Basil. I've had lots of basil. Made lots of pesto. Squash. My olive tree. More basil. Tomatoes. Peppers. Say dogwood. Got these little hoops on my boxes so I can put some freeze cloth on them. This is a sweet potato vine. This is a thornless blackberry. My neighbor let me put in a flower bed up against her brick house. So I could put some daylilies and have some other vegetables in there. My rain barrel. We had another rain barrel back there I forgot to show you. And this is my snowball viburnum. My little trellis. Now let's go around to the back. I think you've seen everything in the front. The ginkgo is starting to turn just a little bit. Won't be too much longer. Let's go around to the backyard. Okay, as we step into the backyard, you'll notice the two big benches. We're gonna give those away for the garden club. That's a bird bath we made out of from the elephant ears in the front yard. Turned out really nice. The backyard is looking pretty good. All my pots are filling in pretty nice. I'm surprised they still have this much color on them. These petunias and geraniums. All of these hanging baskets and pots back here have been planted since March of last of this year. And they are just really, really doing good. These are ready to be planted for the fall. I just got those in. Thank you, Green Lake. Sweet potatoes. This is a new vinca that I have been very satisfied with. It's a little bitty petite. 
can't remember the name of it, but I love it. This is my Horse Pansy Red Bud. This has been my absolute favorite, favorite collection right here. This is three pots and each pot had a petunia in it. We got Jazzberry, I can't remember what the pink one's called, and then the white and some Euphorbia. That has just really done good this year. In this pot, actually all four of these pots were given to be by my son and I potted them up. I've been very happy with them this year. The grass is looking pretty good back here. I don't remember if I showed that in a video before. I'm trying to talk my husband into letting me put a fountain back there. My roses, these are my roses that I bought at Walmart for $10. They are doing very well. I've been very satisfied with the results of the roses this year. Pulled all of my zinnias up. I had this, all these beds were full of zinnias and I pulled them all up. This is the Texas Bird of Paradise. I keep cutting the blooms off and putting them in the silica gel to dry. It's a nice little tiny rose, and so is that one. It's done very well. The white roses, I believe that's called uh, John F. Kennedy. The um, Blackfoot daisies are doing good. I got lots of weeds. That's in that bed. I haven't been in there to pull that one out because I didn't want to mess up the blackfoot daisies. My porcelain vine is getting lots of berries on it. I'm sure I will share pictures of this as it turns because it turns to be blue and uh, purple and pink. Puts off these beautiful berries that the hummingbirds love. This is my herb box. I have thyme, rosemary, basil, parsley, and oregano. This is another box I built for my husband. He loves moss rose. That's his moss rose box. It's pineapple sage, clematis. A couple of more roses over here. Some money wart, salvia, rosemary, more zinnias. This is my passion vine. This passion vine is not getting enough sun and it is choking out my clematis. This is my asparagus bed. And this passion vine is doing very well. I get about eight to 10 blooms every day couple of days I've gotten more than 10, but that flower is absolutely gorgeous and my backyard smells heavenly. I'll slowly pan around the porch. Oh, I forgot to show you the euphorbia over there. That euphorbia is looking very good and so is the uh, eucalyptus. The eucalyptus is doing good and I got a petunia right here. You see and a fern. Let me come around here to the euphorbia. This was one four inch pot of euphorbia in a hanging basket with geraniums and it just totally smothered out the geraniums. Let's see if I can block the sun. Let's zoom in so you can see that. And that's a purple petunia. It's doing very well. I can't get the sun out of it. There we go. And that's what my garden looks like in October. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel. Haven't been posting a lot, but as it slows down a little bit, I'll probably be posting more. 
I have taken lots of pictures and made lots of videos, so maybe they'll get uploaded one of these days. I have all the figurines in my backyard, so when in the winter time, I still have things to look at when there's not anything blooming. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.